What's going on, Cancer? My name is Vince. Welcome to 7D Tarot. If you are interested in scheduling your own personal reading with me, all the info you need is in the description box below. Check out my wife's channel over at Empath Tarot. And if this message resonates, like, share, and subscribe. All right, let's dive right into your reading. What do we got? Four of Swords, Five of Pentacles, Eight of Wands, and a Ten of Swords. A nice warning sign here right now. I see right now that you are going to be given a chance. There's a big important decision coming into your life. Spirit wants to see how are you going to react to this situation not what the solution is you will find the solution but how are you going to react to the situation this situation at first is going to seem scary and this situation at first is going to be unexpected and it's going to put you in a scarcity mindset this is your first reaction something we all go through right when there's something is unexpected it is scary when it is scary we don't know what to do with we try to run from it our ego is trying to protect us telling us you know don't do it or don't deal with it or bury that shadow for pick your reason why and this is something that we have to understand that we cannot let our ego dictate what we do right your ego cannot be in charge right now this important decision the good news is when you actually handle it react to it in a cool calm collective way you will be handsomely rewarded for doing so it will be smooth sailing ahead things will get a whole lot easier in your life it might have something to do with work it may have something to do with love it may have something to do with health but understand whatever this is you'll know right away because it's unexpected expected you'll be like what the heck i didn't expect that i'll give you an example imagine if your landlord comes up to you and says hey we're selling the house you got to move at first you're taken back shocked scared <gasps> how dare you i've been such a good tenant what the heck right this is normal but how you react to it instead of doing that and you tell yourself wow okay this is the time to level up right i'm going to show myself and spirit i can handle more and i will be handsomely rewarded for it so you're going to hit the landlord up text them be like you know what i'm so happy for you guys uh, i'm so I, I know you guys we probably wanted to sell the house for quite some time. I wish you the best. You're going to give me that, that, that reference, right? Wink, 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 right? Wait. And then after that, you're going to tell yourself, Spirit, thank you so much for setting this up. I know you have something better lined up for me. The who, what, when, where, how, I'll let you take care of. I'm just going to look online or look in the paper, whatever you do, and I'm going to let the energy come to me. And I know I'm going to find a place with better, cheaper rent and closer to my work, for example, right? That's the mind state. So you're in the same position, but one of the, one of the perception here, one of the outlook is going to raise your vibrations and attract what you're looking for, like attracts like law of attraction. The other one would kind of, you know, set us back, right? It's almost like laying, taking a brick away from your castle rather than laying one brick a day to build a castle. So what does this all mean? Right now, whenever something happens to me in my life, before I understood that there was metaphysics, quantum physics, vibrations, frequency, law of attraction, law of assumption, magnetic energy, before I understood that, that this is actual science and this is how it works, I would say something like, when it rains, it pours, it never stops, right? I would get offended that something happened to me. I would be like, oh, and then one thing after another. Yes, that's life. We are here to learn lessons. These lessons aren't enjoyable all the time, but you learn them, you move on. If you don't learn them, you're gonna be stuck, right? You're gonna be learning the same lesson over and over again. And that is like watching a rerun, the same movie over and over again. You don't want that. So what do I do now? Every single time something happens to me that's unexpected, I tell myself, great. This is a moment I'm actually gonna level up. Whatever the situation is, all I gotta do is be cool, calm, and collective, right? Not lose my ish. And then spirit's gonna be like, wow, look at Vince. Vince can handle so much. Vince is crushing it. This level that he's currently on in this game of life is too easy. Let me reward Vince. Vince, angels and guides bring new opportunities to Vince. Let's see how he handles those. This is literally how it works, right? So all you gotta do is be cool, calm, and collective, and it will come your way. So right now, practice this. Practice this. One of the books I read, which was super you know helpful in my life was called 92 ways how to talk to anyone i can't remember the author i read it when i was a child right but it it's a yellow cover right it teaches you how to do everything one of the things that taught me was not how to overreact with it in everyday life right it has nothing to do with the law of attraction it's actually about business but everything everything is about the law of attraction i'll give you an example it said that when you are at a restaurant and someone drops the dishes do not go look at that person if you're sitting there at a table if you look at that person which everyone does oh i dropped the dishes here's me giving attention awareness to this this is basically saying that your awareness is something that can you know be handed out to anyone but if you're cool, calm, and collective, everyone looks, but you're just sitting there looking at everyone else, they're gonna be like, wow, look at this person go. They are so in tune with their, 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 their energy. Now, same thing here, right? When someone drops the dishes at a restaurant, do not look. You heard it, it's all good. When you are driving and the red light comes on, don't slam your brakes and be like, ah, oh, oh, why is this happening to me? 
it turned red, good, who cares, right? If you are at work and someone does something that is, you know, offensive, everyone gets appalled, be cool, calm, and collective. Don't give it energy. Learn to be, you know, in a, in, a, in a baseline sort of harmonious energy at all times. Do not spike your energy up and down when unnecessary, right? If you ever want to feel good, raise your vibrations. But if you feel like something is taken away from your energy, do not follow the herd. Do what's trendy and give it energy. Instead, you keep your energy. That is just one way to practice it. Same thing with me. If I go to the elevator, it closes shut on me. I'm not like, ah, oh, come on, right? I'm not going to do that anymore because I understand that that energy Energy would be kind of taking away a break. So temperance, page of cups, knight of cups, high priestess, your angels and guides love you so much. They're setting up something very, very special for you. So understand you have a team with you right now. I see them cooking up a storm in a very good way. I see a lot of opportunities coming your way. I see a lot of tests. These tests, whenever we hear the word test, we think of, oh, sitting down in school with a pencil and it's serious. No, this is not. This is more than, this is more like a, a, a fun journey, if you want to call it, right? This is a fun experience. You, your angels, your guides in the fifth dimension signed the contract. You come to the third dimension and they're lessons. You are here voluntarily. The graphics here on Planet 3D are not even the best, right? I'm to be honest with you. This right here is a game you are playing, but you signed up to play this game. You're just not aware of it. You will once you get to the fifth, sixth, seventh, seventy, twelve dimensions. So right now you are here. While you are here, your angels and guides are basically the director and producer of the movie or of the game you're playing, right? They're the ones who create stuff. Now, you are the star, you're the actress or actor, right? Now, you're just not aware you're in the movie, right? Imagine your angels and guides are watching the movie and you're actually in the movie. Right now, they're setting up a lot of good things coming your way. If I was you, I'd be super excited. And right now, they are setting it up so you and your special somebody meet, someone who is also evolved in their spiritual journey. So you could expect them to kind of maybe into yoga or expect them to kind to be into journaling, meditating, expect them to kind of be connecting to their soul as well. So it's not like you're going into a relationship where you don't have much in common. You actually have a lot in common. And I see that this special special somebody is someone who's very romantic, someone who wants to spend their time uh, making you happy, someone who understands that your happiness is their happiness, and someone who wants to give you a lot of their attention, but not in a needy way, more that they, their awareness is at a place in their life where, where they understand what is important in life. I also do see that they're experienced when it comes to their finances. So it doesn't seem like they're trying to, you know, uh, they have uh, troubles trying to figure out, you know, what to do to, to make money. It seems like they're more calm in that state and right now, it's beautiful because they could really give you the attention. I also do see here that they've gone through a lot of stuff in their life. Again, because they're connected to their higher self, they know what they want and don't want in life. And right now, this is a beautiful bonding energy. I see this. I see you guys connecting very close here. And I also do see divine timing at play. And I see that now spirit is lining you guys up to meet because you're both in a state where you're going to recognize each other's energy. And I'll give you an example. When I met my wife, Alicia, Immediately, I knew she's the one. It was vibrations at first sight. But the more I talked to her, the more we had in common. She was 17 years old at the time. So she was just in school. I was in school. Actually, no, she was in school. I was 23. And I was just like, when she told me, she's just like, yeah, I own my own business. At first, I'm like, oh, that's so cute. Because I own businesses when I was, since I was a child, right? I'm, I'm telling you, whether it was selling CDs, firecrackers. And then I grew up, I had a renovation company, a construction company. I had many, many different things as a young age, cabinet business. Um, you know, when she told me she has her own business, I was like, Oh, that's so cute. She probably has a lemonade stand, right? Little baby, right? That's what I thought. Little do I know, while this go girl is going to school, she owns a dog grooming business in the heart of town with like, I don't know, about 12 to 15 grand overhead a month, employees. She's the owner, right? She's going to school and she owns her own dog grooming business, generating mad income, mad income, right? Like, I, like again, she was rich for her little girl, for, for her age, a 17 year old girl, she was balling out of control, right? So we, I was flabbergasted. I was like, wow, I have met a lot of girls in my lifetime and none of them at 17 are doing this. Very interesting. Tell me more. Do you see where I'm going with this? Same thing with you. You're gonna be like, wow, I cannot believe you are connected to spirit as well. You got your ish together. Tell me more. You are intrigued. And this vibration is beautiful. This vibration is when you're learning off each other. You're feeding each other, right? Every single day, Alicia comes home. I learned this new energy healing technique. Great. I learned this new business technique. Great. I learned this new visualization technique. Great. I learned this new meditation technique. Great. This is what I figured out. This is what I figured out. My angels told me this. My spirit guides told me this. Every single day, we're feeding off each other, growing, growing, growing. Same thing with you. You are going to be feeding off each other's energy, taking it to the next level. You have spirituality to show them. 
they have finances to show you. Beautiful peanut butter and jelly, perfect sandwich, but you gotta embrace that, you gotta tap, you gotta connect to your higher self, right? Do everything to honor your soul. What makes you happy? Connect, journaling makes me very, very happy. Uh, meditating makes me happy. Anything that my attention, rather than it go out, my attention comes back in, that's what I do. When you journal, it's you and the journal. When you're meditating, it's you. When you're visualizing, it's you. This is where the power is, trust me. This is what makes you sexy, this is what makes you powerful, and this is what makes you you know, confident. This is where it's at. All right, Cancer, I hope you enjoyed your reading. Thousand kisses. Until next time, 